Leroy's Pokemon Alpha Sapphire Walkthrough, Part 2. What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to Alpha Sapphire version. In the last episode, we chose our starter Pokemon, Torchic, and we saved Professor Birch's life, so he gave us the Pokemon, and he told us to go to Route 103 to find um, May, and that's going to be way up north. Uh, for now, we're going to run into our first wild Pokemon on this route. I actually think it's part of the game's coding that you always run into a Wurmple. Um, at this point, you don't have any Pokeballs or anything, so you can't catch it. So I'm just going to knock it out here. Um, it's probably worth knocking out just because it'll get you up to level 6. And that will give you um, an advantage over May when you actually fight her. She's going to have a level 5, so... Yeah, it's worth knocking one of those things out. Um, Wurmple's actually kind of an underrated Pokemon in my opinion. It either evolves into Dustox or Beautifly, and Dustox is actually just horrible, but Beautifly has a lot of um, use early on in the game especially, because it evolves at level 10 fully, so it's going to be way overpowered um, for a nice portion of the game. Uh, anyways, welcome to Old Dale Town. Yeah, it did not take too long to reach our first town. Um, you're going to be greeted by this super nice, kind-hearted guy that works at the Mart here. He's going to show you that um, all these roofs with the... Or all these buildings with the blue roofs are the Pokemarts where you can buy items and stuff throughout the game. But apparently there's a special promotion going on. He's actually going to give you 10 potions for free. So, yeah, I guess I'm never going to go buy anything at your mart if I'm just going to get free stuff all the time. Um, this right here is the Pokemon Center. A woman inside will heal your Pokemon. Yeah, I guess men are not allowed to work at Pokemon Centers. Only women. Um, but yeah, you can go in there and fully heal up your Pokemon, your health, and your power points and everything. But... I'm in pretty good shape right now, so uh, I won't worry about it. Let's see old Dale Town, where things start off scarce, and... Wow, look at the improvement from Little Root Town. We went from three buildings to four. We're moving up in the world. Um, yeah, if you try to go out this way, this guy is not going to let you. He says, don't come over here. There's some incredibly rare Pokemon that have left footprints in the ground. So, he's trying to sketch the footprints and figure out what this rare Pokemon is. Um... So yeah, you can't go that way right now. This is the actual Mart. Uh, got some pretty cool music in here, but all he's selling right now is potions, and we already have 11 potions, because you start out with one, then you get those 10 free ones, so... Um, yeah, whatever, just save your money for now, no point in buying anything. And Route 103 is actually right up here. Um, and you can see May just at the top of the screen there, or, of course, uh, Brendan if you're playing with the female character. Um, but yeah, Route 103 is just like a little dead end, so there's nothing really going on here, but I will go ahead and uh, talk to May right here. And she's just kind of uh, staring off in the distance right there. Let me just sit back here and like watch her and listen to her talk to herself for a while. Um, yeah, then she's finally going to notice you. Oh, hey, Leroy. What's that? Oh, my dad gave you a Pokemon as a gift, huh? Yeah, that's right. Your dad likes me more than he likes you. He's going to give me all kinds of free stuff throughout this game. Uh, yeah, then she's going to challenge you to a battle, so... This is going to be super easy, uh, she only has her starter Pokemon at level 5, and... Even though your starter came with a move like Ember, or, uh, Absorb, whatever, um... Her starter will not have any elemental typing moves, so it's only going to know, like, Tackle or Scratch or something. Um, so you don't need to worry about taking super effective hits, which is kind of nice. And with those 11 potions that we have in our bag, there's really no reason you should lose this battle. Um, unless you got extremely unlucky with critical hits or something, but... Yeah, just keep scratching away, just use whatever move. Don't use your Ember or whatever, because it's going to be, um... Not very effective, only going to do half the damage. Um, so yeah, I'll keep scratching away at this thing. It's just going to be a war of back and forth, tackle, scratch, pound, whatever. Um... This thing actually almost knocked me out, but, uh... I think my Torchic has low defense from its nature. I got one that, like, boosts its special defense and lowers its defense or something, so whatever. I usually don't pay too much attention to natures, but, um, that's gonna be good enough to get us up to level 7, so, yeah, we're in pretty good shape. Super easy fight right off the bat there, so, uh, oh, and we're gonna get $200 for winning the fight. 200 bucks, that's it? Come on, one potion costs, like, $300. All you're gonna give me is 200 That's, like, lunch money, May. Come on, that's, like, penny change right there. Um, but then she's gonna go ahead and heal up my Pokemon, and at this point, we're just gonna go back to, uh, Professor Birch's lab. It's 
it's kind of annoying at the beginning of the game. There's a lot of running back and forth to the hometown and stuff, but we just got to get through it. It's actually really easy to run all the way back because you have these ledges that you can hop over. You can avoid the grass and stuff like that, but here's May again. She's kind of waiting for us down here, like as if we were going to lose our way and just like have no clue how to get back home or something like, man, you venture off for two minutes up north. You'll never find your way back. Um, yeah, we're back in Little Root Town again, and let's head straight into the lab, because this is where we're going to get our Pokedex, and um, we're going to get our first Pokeballs, so we can finally get this show on the road. Uh, yeah, here's Professor Birch. Said, I heard you beat May on your first try. That's amazing. Um, it's funny, is even if you lose to her like five times in a row, he'll still say that to you. Beat her on the first try. Um, but here we go. We're going to get the Pokedex. Yeah, he originally bought this high-tech tool um, for his own personal research, but, you know, he decided why not just give this insanely expensive piece of technology to uh, this random kid that just moved in next door and I met five minutes ago. Yeah, he'll make good use of it, so, um, yeah, just getting all kinds of free stuff. We got the Pokemon and now the Pokedex from Professor Birch, and now May's gonna give us Pokeballs, like, ten more Pokeballs, and that dude gave us ten potions, like, what is this, Christmas or something? Everyone's giving me free stuff everywhere I go. Like, I'm starting to get skeptical, like, what do you people want from me in the long run? Why are you being so nice? Um, so yeah, now we got our, uh, Pokeballs, we can finally, um, get out of here and start catching some guys for our team, so... Let's do it! Holy crap, it's bright outside! How long was I in there? Uh, now I actually just took a little break from the recording, but back to finish it up here, and um, before you can officially leave Little Root Town and start your journey, you're gonna have to say goodbye to your mom. Um, but you know, I'm kind of expecting like a sweet gift, you know, Professor Birch has been giving me awesome stuff, May gave me all those Pokeballs, that random guy at the Mart gave me all those potions, like, probably gonna get a sweet gift from your mom, right? Uh, yeah, wrong. Remember she sucks and she put you in a freaking moving truck? You are the worst parent ever. I have random strangers giving me free stuff, and you give me nothing. Like, at least give me, like, a Chipotle gift card or something. Like, come on. Uh, oh yeah, then you get stopped once again. Like, you can never get a minute to yourself in this game. Um, but yeah, actually, hey, look, more free stuff. See, like, screw my mom, I don't need her. I've got May and Professor Birch to take care of me. Um, but this is really cool. You're gonna get the Dex Nav, and this is a new feature in this game. Um, has a lot of cool perks. Essentially what it does is, um, it allows you to find Pokemon that know egg moves in the wild. Now, in older games, you'd have to breed Pokemon to get those awesome egg moves, but now you can find wild Pokemon that know moves that no other Pokemon would know, um, by using the Dex Nav. So, we'll talk about that a little bit more. Um, you do have your Pokeballs, so feel free to hunt for wild Pokemon. We talked a little bit about Wurmple. There's also Zigzagoon on this route, which is kind of a fan favorite for an HM slave, but actually makes a pretty um, decent attacker for the early half of the game, I'd say. First half or so. Um, but yeah, this right here is the Dex Nav in action. So uh, basically you can use it to find little Pokemon like this sticking out of the grass. And this one is a Poochiena. Um, and this Poochietta actually does know an egg move. This one in particular knows Ice Fang. And Ice Fang's a pretty solid move for this uh, stage in the game. Um, if you chose a Trico, this Poochietta will know Thunder Fang. If you chose a Mudkip, it'll know Fire Fang. So it's gonna have a uh, Fang move to kind of cover some of your weaknesses. So I'll go ahead and check him out. This is, after all, the only um, forced encounter um, with the Dex Nav where you can find a Pokemon that knows an egg move right off the bat. Um, now, a lot of people, uh, I don't know, people just in general don't use Poochiana because they just have the vibe that it's a horrible Pokemon. I'm actually a fan of Poochiana. I like this guy. Um, there's a nice added bonus that you get him at level 5. He knows this extra awesome Ice Fang, whatever. It's going to help you out a lot early on in the game. So, I'm going to go ahead and make this the uh, first addition to my team. And, yeah, Poochiana, he's... The, the thing he has going for him is that he evolves at level 20, so he's going to be really strong kind of early on in the game. Kind of loses his touch a little bit as it goes on, but Mighty Yenna does have some good matchups um, towards the end of the game, so I think you can make him work on your team pretty well. He's definitely not the best Dark type in the game, but um, it's nice to have one right off the bat. When Torchic evolves, it's going to be um, part fighting type, making him weak to Psychic, so it'll be handy having a Dark type. And here's Poochiena! Poochiena is an omnivore. It will eat anything! That's right, anything! Shoes, nails, glass, 
burgers without cheese. He'll eat your homework too. He'll eat anything. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and nickname you Hercules. I think it's a pretty good name for a dog, and um, also keep in mind if you want to get a particular nature or ability on that Puchiana, you should probably save your game before you enter the route. Um, actually, if you save your game right in front of him, uh, he won't come back when you restart your game, so you kind of screw yourself. Um, anyways, we're back in old Dale Town, and oh yeah, remember this guy over here, Mr. I'm investigating the footprints of super rare Pokemon. Turns out there are his own footprints. Yeah, this guy couldn't even recognize what his own shoe looked like on the ground. So, uh, yeah, well, the good news is we can actually go um, out west now, but we'll probably save that for the next video. So, thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Next time, we will come back with our Puchiana and Torchic and fight some more trainers. See you guys next time.